Ductility is a measure of a material's ability to undergo significant plastic deformation before rupture, which may be expressed as percent elongation or percent area reduction from a tinsel test. According to Sheedley's Mechanical Engineering Design Temp Education 1 significant notes about 5.0% elongation section 5.3, page 233. See also Eek. 2 to 12, page 54 definitions of percent elongation and percent area reduction. Ductility is often characterized by a material's ability to be stretched into a wire. From examination of data in tables A20, A21, A22, A23, and A24 in Sheet Lease Mechanical Engineering Design, 10th edition 1 for both ductile and brittle materials. It is possible to postulate a broader quantifiable definition of ductility that does not rely on percent elongation alone. In general, a ductile material must have a measurable yield strength, at which unrecoverable plastic deformation begins seed yield engineering and also must satisfy one of the following conditions, either have an elongation to failure of at least 5%, or area reduction to rupture at least 20%, or true strain to rupture at least 10%. Merely ability, a similar property, is a material's ability to deform under compressive stress. This is often characterized by the material's ability to form a thin sheet by hammering or rolling. Both of these mechanical properties are aspects of plasticity. The extent to which a solid material can be plastically deformed without fracture. Also, these material properties are dependent on temperature and pressure investigated by Percy Williams Bridgman as part of his Nobel Prize winning work on high pressures. Ductility and malleability are not always coextensive. For instance, while gold has high ductility and malleability, Lead has low ductility but high malleability. The word ductility is sometimes used to encompass both types of plasticity. Three.